Hi guys, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be making some connected type, a bit like this, or oh, it will be like this, uh, with some subtle shadows to give it a bit of dimension. All you need is a pencil and a bit of paper and we'll get started. Choose some words. I'm going to use the words uh, work hard. I think this sort of style really works well. Or in the words above and the words below equal, same amount. And what you want to do is just roughly put out the words a few times. We used to use them as a reference and we're going to go through and we're going to connect these letters together. We're going to try it in different ways. So. Um, so the W, if I did it down the bottom there, it just looked a bit weird because it's standing off the bottom there. So there's some rules of where the letters are going to here of. So I think with that one, I'll go across the top, which will mean we make the R a little bit smaller. Um, with the R, I might extend the bottom underneath the K. Like that, so shorten the stem of the K, and then on the bottom here we may extend the top of the H, like we did with the W, which we mean the A has to be a bit smaller, and then we can uh, maybe make the R go into the D, like that. So that's one idea. Then we go on to the next one, and maybe what can we do on here? Maybe the O goes higher this time and the R comes along to the bottom stem. Like so, and just maybe keep the K as is. Don't have to worry about thickness, we're just looking for the layout at the moment. sheet of those and then just circle the one that you want to use so this one for me is this one I think it's what's best and then next grab your phone take a little pitch if you've got iCloud or if you've got um, Google Photos then that will um, just sync to your library straight away or um, email it to yourself and then we want to open up Adobe Illustrator on our computer and place the image that we've just taken in Adobe Illustrator and we will uh, get going in that. Okay so we're in Illustrator now you want to place your picture I wish I'd taken a better focus one now but oh well um, on its own layer lock that layer reduce the opacity of that image so it's easy to work on and set up a new layer and what we want to do is get the pen tool and then we want to give it a black stroke no fill uh, make the line quite bold I'm doing my thing point making sure that the end caps are a standard butt cap and a square uh, mitre joint and then what we want to do is just literally go around our work um, roughly can really um, I, with the W here, I'm going to leave those as they are. I'm going to trim them off in a minute once we outline that stroke. Well, I'll fast forward this bit as I lay it out. Select it all and copy over a duplicate piece to the side. I'll hold down the alt key to do that. 
And now what we want to do is select it all, go to Object, Path, Outline Stroke. And now I'm just going to trim off the bottom of these W. Using the Path Iron tool and subtract. Same with that point there. Tweak. Okay, so we're happy with that. Now I'm going to just copy another version of that over to the other side. We are going now going to go um, and make it into one shape just by going to combine. Now, if we select points as a bottom word, you'll see if you've got view um, corner widget on, you put it towards you, all of those little corners will go in and just give it a little bit more roundedness to those harsh objects. And we do the same for the top. I don't know why it won't listen. We select the whole thing and let it do it, but anyway, it just rounds it off a little bit. What we're going to do now, let's hide that background there. It's going to add some effects to it in Illustrator, but they're Photoshop effects. But we need to rasterize all work. So what we want to do is do a white layer behind this. Otherwise, it butts up against it when you rasterize it. So select all that. Go to Object, Rasterize, um, Grayscale. Same where it doesn't really matter as long as the background is white. OK, that's, that's now one solid image. Go to Effect, um, and then we want to go to Effects Gallery under Photoshop Effects. Under Brush Strokes, choose Spatter. Smoothness all the way out to the top, and then just bring it in, you know, give it a little bit or however much you want. It's not going to look that jaggedy in a minute, so when we OK that, we want to image trace it. So we bring up the image trace box. Uh, we want to make sure it's black and white, uh, a fill turn off snap curves, ignore white, bring down noise, bring down corners, click on preview. There we go. And this is a good time to sort of add this as a preset. But then you can just play around how much, you know, rough edges, give it, give it a sort of hand drawn -y look. And just how bold it is as well. Uh, happy with that, so we expand that and it's now back to paths. So we're done in Illustrator for this bit. So what we want to now do is go over to Photoshop where we add some texture and give it some dimension. So we're now in Photoshop, pasted in our work as a smart object. Um, and we have set up a document 200, 2000 pixels by 2000 pixels. So we're just going to color it first. It looks better if it's the reverse of this, so like white on black or, or white on red. So what we do now is we want to put this into a group. So drop down my new new group. And that's in there. When I do our background color, so solid color fill using the symbols down here. I want to choose black. OK, get rid of the background. Get rid of the uh, layer mask, any that for the background. And then clicking on group and then click on solid color again, fill, and then we want it white. And then what we're going to do is uh, clip it to the group, hold down your key. And when you go in between those, the layer, the group and the fill layer, you'll see the little arrow pop up. Click that and it will group it to there. Open up the folder. Uh, so we it clicked inside the folder. We want to add some texture to the work first, overlay it before we add some brushwork. I'm using my own product here, which is called TextFresh. You can get it on my website, uh, vintagedesign.co. Um, it's a smart PSD product, but it also comes with, um, you get some three scatter brushes and uh, a load of textures as well to use. I'll put a link in the description below. But we're gonna place that. You can use whatever ones you want, but we're just gonna place one. Let's see, let's place that one. Okay, as you see, it's colored white as it's in that folder, but we want it to knock out um, the text to knock out the words. So what we do, double click on that layer, bring down the field capacity, knock out shallow, 
and that will knock that out. So whatever color we change the bottom to, you see it will show through. So, okay, so what we're going to do now is add another layer and do the same thing with the opacity and knock out, bring down the fill, knock out shallow. Okay, that. So what we put in this layer will then knock out that, um, knock out our words. So I've just got select one of my scatter brushes from that text rest product. Uh, just want to do bring it down a bit. And now what we want to do is just go over um, where we want the, sh the shadows to appear to give it a bit of dimension. Don't worry about it going over where you want it because we're going to erase that in a minute. Okay, once we're happy with that, we're going to add a mask uh, using the icons down here. Click on the one that's the circle inside the square to that layer, and then we're just going to choose. Um, I'm going to select the razor tool. We're just going to choose uh, just this. This one here is a standard uh, Photoshop brushes, which when you open it, it comes with. So the last one on the list. And what we're going to do is erase um, the stuff we've got so it acts like a shadow. So we need it to be, if we're erasing something, um, when it's white in there, we need it to be white here as well. So what we can do is just then go erase it. Doesn't matter if you go over the line a bit too much, you can. Press X, so when it's black, it will bring it back in again. You can fine tune that. So you're just going to go over those shadows, making them. colors we will keep those textures in place um, whether you take the background or the foreground color of the of the type I hope you found that useful guys leave me any questions in the comment section below details about textures I've used are in the description I subscribe if you haven't already done so I'll see you in next week's video